Okay, y'all. Um, yes, my hair is short. We're not gonna talk about it. Anyways, um, we are about to do a wig install. It's been a minute, and y'all know me. I'm all against like gluing down a synthetic wig, but I'm about to glue it down just because I don't want to hear nobody mouth about it. Um, getting this tiny little wig cap on my head was a mess. I could not wait to cut off this part in the ears and everything. Like I'm like, it was not about to stay on. My hair is too thick for that. Um, excuse me if I like sniffle and stuff. I, my allergies are acting up. Anyways, so I'm just cutting out the ears. I feel like you, if you've seen a wig install, you've seen them all, okay? No, I wasn't about to slick back my edges. I wasn't about to do it. I, <sighs> the content. I'm purely doing this for the content because it is 90 degrees here in Texas. I don't know why everybody acting like it's getting cold. It is not maybe because i'm not from here originally but it ain't cold outside so me gluing this wig down to my head um best believe i i'm not going anywhere all right so when y'all see me done up and like oh girl where did you go nowhere i went to the dollar tree at the end of this video and that was it and i came my my black self back home okay i'm just gonna get up um if you comment something about my stomach i will block you uh i just got up to get my blow dryer this was so hard to do and I was so out of frame. Uh, but here's the wig. Um, before y'all ask me, Amazon. Amazon, I'm not leaving no links because, Lord, if I could find it. I order so much stuff off of Amazon. It's probably not even in my buy again. I'm not even going to hold you. Um, I don't know if this one is actually still available. But just type in red red synthetic wig. You know, ginger wig. whatever. It's not that big of a deal. I don't know why everybody always asks for a link. I'm not gatekeeping. I literally don't remember. Oh, um, if y'all see me wiping my forehead, it's because I cut myself. I cut my forehead with this. And when I say this was a brand new and I barely grazed my forehead, it's going to be bleeding majority of this video. Um, please don't be like, oh my God, your hands and it, the blood. And it's a wig that's going on my head. I threw away the blade. I don't know what y'all want me to say. Like, this is all my stuff. I'm, I don't do anyone else's hair. I it was bleeding okay and later on i'm gonna have a towel so if you see me holding a towel on my forehead it's because i now have a scratch there and it's annoying because it just kept bleeding but um i asked my husband for a towel and he was just like oh my god you cut yourself and i'm like calm down please please it's it's barely bleeding it was bleeding a lot actually but um, I just tied it back and I'm gonna use my that's my ghost bond platinum XL and then I have bold hold active and then um, I have this one lace bond um, I used I ended up using the ghost bond um, it didn't matter I just want to show y'all that I had all of these and it literally didn't matter I um, first am putting on this bold hold uh, protective spray and drying that because I haven't put glue on my skin in a long time and sometimes I will like break out if I don't have that protectant so even if you have tough skin whatever not sensitive skin whatever make sure you put it on I, I advise it especially if you're getting the ones that's supposed to help with sweat because guess what if you still sweat and the glue is there you're still gonna break out sweetie you will now this lace is pretty much beige um I'm gonna just cut some slits just to make it easier to apply it wasn't I see y'all see my forehead I I try to clean it okay um if you don't have this wig gripper thing I don't know how y'all got a wig on because this wig had combs only in the front and it had no comb for the nape I don't know who make that wig like that but that was dumb because my wig was about to just fall off my head um that thing is pretty tight I, that's why I put it so far back I'm not gonna put it right up and then I don't even put the combs under it but it still holds on to my wig like if I got in a fight mm, let's not get out of hand but if I got in a fight I mean if they pulled it forward like from the back it wouldn't go nowhere but you know if my head was down they pulled it the other way the wig is gone it's, it's hanging on by the ghost bond alright that's it but um, I'm just drying that down I did so many layers of this glue and usually I wouldn't have to but I'm pretty sure I had to because um, I'm going to spray a wig tint or a lace tint 
and it's in the shade Sienna. I have other shades too, but I don't like to use it because one, it takes all day to tint the lace, especially on synthetic lace. And for the other reason, I could just use foundation, which I ended up using at the end anyway. So I wasted my own time. I'm not even going to hold y'all. I wasted my own time with that. But here I am putting some more glue. And yes, you see me wipe my forehead a million times. Please don't talk about it. Okay, I did. I did it a lot. Uh, Yeah, it's just, yeah, it was getting on my nerves. And another reason I hate gluing down a wig is because this part takes so long. I have this sped up so fast, um, it's ridiculous. So here I am, I'm about to try to put the wig down like an idiot because it wasn't ready. And I was just like, okay, like my tint is not doing what I needed to do. Let me use this cream foundation from Fenty that I have. Uh, baby, it made it white. Like, it's like this shade. I don't know. Like, look at, yeah, look where I had the glue at. I was like, girl, what color is this? Because it's not mine. It wasn't mine at all. And I was like, well, let me take my contour shade. And it was trying, but it wasn't doing enough. It wasn't doing enough. So I was like, you know what? Um, okay. It, it, I mean, it was not doing it. Because I'm going to put it on. And you're going to be like, what is this? This is what happened when I watch too much TikTok. And I'm just like, oh, well, you know, they doing it like this. Even though I knew better. I knew better. I knew what I should have been doing. It ain't my first wig. I don't even know why I tried to change it. Just use the foundation. Look at Look. Nothing. No reason for anything I just did. It was done. I was like, no, what's the point? That's the wig tint. This was even worse, like, than me trying to use my foundation. The, the cream foundation. I'm sorry. Not that it's a bad foundation because I definitely use it. Now, you can see where I sprayed it. You can see the color. It was, like, pretty much if someone put foundation in water at this point. It wasn't doing what it needed to do. I was like, oh, this is taking forever. I was getting so impatient. I'm so impatient when it comes to a wig. I just want to throw it on and be done. And I was just like, no, let me let me really try to put it down. So I like try to get rid of this accent, like excess like foundation. And I was like, let me put some more glue because girl, this one doing it. But my lace is wet, and I should have known better. Cause I was just like, well, let me just do this anyway. Thinking that wig tint dried and it did not. It didn't dry at all. I don't know why I did this. But I was like, I need to film something because my other videos already posted and I forgot that I was supposed to be filming. I went days without doing anything. I'm not even going to hold y'all. Like, I just went. I was just like, oh, I don't feel like it. And then I hate to do my makeup and then it turns out real good. My friend's like, why didn't you film it? So now I have to turn on this camera every time I wake up. Because I don't know if I'm going to be in the mood to actually do my makeup. So I'm like, y'all see me just spray it. And I barely blow dry it. And I was like, you know, let me put it. Let me put it on here. Let me just see. Now, I'm not going to do the middle was standing strong. But these sides. And then I didn't even cut out my ears yet either. And then look, it's not even the right color. Don't, don't be like me. Because this was a lazy, when you try to get lazy when you gluing it down, it becomes even more complicated. Now, I like my sides to be down pretty low because my sideburns grow down really low. So, I feel like um, I'm not cutting all this off. And I'm trying to hold it down. That's why you see me putting pieces in my mouth because I was trying to hold the sides down. The sides is like the creme de la creme of the wig. Okay, that's what really gets it together now this time this doggone band behind my head with all this synthetic hair trying to look at it it's getting wrapped up y'all this look was sending me i was like this way can go to hell honestly i was like this is too much i was gonna stop filming i really was i was like Ugh. yeah and then it wasn't even staying i was like you know what and i was like why well, didn't even cut out the damn ears I was like, let me do that. Try not to cut myself again. This is probably the most important part you should pay attention to. I wish I could explain it to you. I really do, but I cannot. Um, I end up cutting more of that off. Look at it. Just lift it up. Like I wasn't even trying to glue it. 
that shouldn't have happened. It should have been like barely coming up. And I'm not going to put a mountain of glue because, baby, I'm trying to take this off in a couple days. I'm not trying to keep this on forever. And it's a waste of glue. Because all these glues that I've had, I've used them at different times and even on synthetic wigs. And they work really well. So I was more frustrated that I had to use so much. I was so irritated I had to use so much. And I was just like, ugh. Girl, just stay down. I was like getting this hair out the way. Again, nothing was sticking. But like I said, my lace was wet when I initially tried to put the headband on. And then I didn't, I was so lazy. That headband that come with like the Love Me wig that I bought. Because that's what that satin wig came with. I should have just got my regular scarf that was long enough. Cause I wouldn't even have to worry about none of that. Look at this, just popping up. I'm holding it down. I'm just like, girl, stay. What are we doing at this point? Like, stay on my head. I had to pull that down so many times. So if anyone's like, why didn't you pluck it? Why didn't you do this? Why did, girl? I've already been in this chair an hour and a half. Look at this, me still trying to tie this. I'm just like, maybe I can tuck it. And I was just like, no. I need to tie it in the back. Tying it was like 45 minutes by itself. I was like, okay, I'm done with it. I'm like, I'm done. Trying to get it on there. It was, it was ruining my day. I was like, I had somewhere to be. I ended up not being done with this until like 5 p.m. And I started at like 12. Oh, let me tell y'all, my camera shut off. Made me taking this off. Look at it. Piece is still lifting. I left that headband on for like an hour. Which still wasn't necessary. And it still wasn't sticking. And I was just like, you know what? Let me hurry up and finish this video because I was mad. I had to change and everything. I was like, Ugh. I was like, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm trying to get as close as possible because you think I'm about to put some baby hairs on this? No. So I just, um, this is the part where I'm really going to take my time and I'm really trying to get under these little places that need to glue. And, and when I, when I do say this, if you do melt and then like you come back and it's like itty bitty pieces, do it how I'm doing it. Like really little by little. Because if you put too much, I hate trying to get glue off after I've already laid a wig down. Because if you take whatever you're trying to remove the ex like the extra glue off, you might get too close to your lace and then your wig's going to start lifting. Which is annoying. But I was like barely like pushing that down because there's been plenty of times where I put too much glue and then like I press down really hard and then the hair is like also stuck to the lace and I try to comb it out and it's not it's not doing it so that's why I'm kind of like laying that down really not pressing on it too hard but trying to get it to stay but yeah I know a lot of people uh they'll either like cut the lace shorter and then leave their hair like do baby hairs right there I'm not about to do that I just wanted to, to come down lo lower. And of course, trusty dusty got to be. And I was like, I'm just gonna let that dry and leave it. And I'm gonna just do this other side. Let me tell you about this other side. I woke up today and it was, it was lifted again. And I was just like, you know what? This is God telling me two days max for this wig and take it off. And I was like, I hear you, cause I'm about to. Yes, I like it. I love the color on me or whatever, but I'll try again at another date, but I was just, I was ready to get it off. But yeah, if you see my like roots look a little darker, it's because I put my normal foundation on it. Like you're going to see me take my foundation, but foundation, and I don't even have no makeup on yet. And it was still giving more scalp than anything. Oh, I sound so nasally. Oh, sorry. But, yeah, I'm, like, I'm caking on my foundation because I don't like that light band that a wig will have. Like, if it's a, if it's 
not your color. I don't like that. And they're like, melt it, melt it, girl. I don't, for what? I bet y'all saw this wig and like, oh, it's cute, but it's still a wig. I think the only time I want my hair not to look like a wig is if I was like on TV or something. But for right now, <laughs> these white people don't think it grew out my scalp, so who cares? I ain't trying to trick the black people. I don't care. This could be my real hair and people will still call it a wig. So at the end of the day, it's going to melt as much as it's going to melt and y'all going to be happy. But I think the most this wig cost me, I think it was like 40 four forty five dollars on Amazon and it's just because of how long it is. Y'all can't really tell but I believe it's twenty two inches. I have another wig just like it. Not the same color, but same I know it's the same wig. It kept getting caught on my neck because so I was trying to make sure it didn't break. But y'all about to see the finished look in just a second. But y'all see me raking it out girl. Get some detangler spray for a synthetic wig. It's, it's the best thing. I got, I got lazy, but I'm gonna use it later. But so y'all can really see how long it was and how much it shed a lot when you're trying to detangle it. I like a curly wig though. I like me some big hair. I don't like a flat wig. My girl, if I didn't want my wig to be big no more, I would just flat iron it. So I just get curly. Curly wavy hair for me. My head too big, I don't like super flat hair. And here she is. This is me in the parking lot, no filter before y'all come for me. And you see the wig, wigging, doing what, doing what it needs to do. Giving very much ginger. Yes. But I hope y'all like this. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I will see y'all next time, boo.